We are working our way down through Module 8 to working with loans and we've made it down to Section 3 now where I want to talk to you about the Loan Manager. I've told you that just writing a check, QuickBooks is not going to be able to tell you how much is principal and how much is interest on your loan. If you use the Loan Manager, however, it will. You're going to see that when I show you the Loan Manager, it's almost as if Intuit bought a little program somewhere and incorporated it into QuickBooks. It looks like it doesn't even really belong. But you'll see it's really a nice little feature and I'll show you how it incorporates with QuickBooks. You won't be able to access the Loan Manager from the home screen. You'll have to go up to Banking on the menu and you'll see Loan Manager on the list. While the Loan Manager is loading, I want to explain to you what this is. This is going to be a place where you go in and you add a loan to the Loan Manager. And then you can actually make payments and then you can take those payments and put them over in QuickBooks in your register. So even though we set up the loan in the Chart of Accounts, it's not set up in here. That's why we're going to add a loan. You have to have the loan set up in the Chart of Accounts first because you have to be able to pick it from this list here. Now you'll see it brought in the current balance. Then you're going to pick the lender. We're going to pick Bank of Any City. You're going to pick your origination date. And then you're going to pick the original amount of the loan. Let's say 40000 Also, you'll want to pick the number of months. Or if you want this to be years or weeks, you can change that as well. I'm going to click Next and now it asks the due date of the next payment. Let's say the due date is going to be January 31st and the payment amount is 500 and this includes principal and interest. Your next payment is number one so if this was an existing payment you were setting up you would make sure that the next number is the next payment number. This is a monthly payment but notice I could make it weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly and if it has an escrow payment, I'm going to choose yes here and fill in the information about the escrow. It will alert me 10 days before the payment's due as well if this little box is checked. Let's click next and see what else is here. Here I can set the interest rate. Let's say that it was 3.5% and it's compounded monthly. I could compound it by exact days. The payment account means when I make the payment, which account does it come out of? I'll say checking. You want to make sure you have the interest expense set up. That's going to be the loan interest account we've talked about. And if you have bank service charges, then you want them to come out of that account as well. Now that I've filled in the information, I can click Finish, and that loan is now set up. You're going to see down here information about the loan that we just set up. And then you'll see the payment schedule. This is going to show you each month of the loan, where the principal is, the interest, and so on and so forth, all the way to the very end. That's kind of cool how that works, right? You've also got a place for the contact info. So if there's someone particular at the bank that you need to speak with when you have a problem, you can actually contact them. If you needed to edit the details of the loan, you can see the edit option right over here. Or if you want to remove the loan, you can do that as well. Here's how it's going to work. Whenever you're ready to put that payment in QuickBooks, you're going to come over here where it says Set Up Payment and then you're going to fill out this information. This is a regular payment. It could be that it's an extra payment. Here's all the information you set up about which lender it is and the bank account. And here's got the principal and interest broken down. You can edit those if you need to. Also, if you had to add any fees or charges, you could. And if you need to put a different payment number over here, you can do that too. Where it says payment method, you can say write a check or enter a bill, either one and then you just click OK. And here's the check that it threw over into QuickBooks. You just edit the information, make sure you have the right date of the payment, things like that. And once this looks good, all you have to do is save and close. See how it broke out the payment for you? Principal and interest. I'll go ahead and save and close and it will ask me if I want to record my changes. Yes and now it's in the register. If I go back home and look in my checking account, I'll see it in there and it should be at the very bottom and it is. There's the bank of any city and if I double click I will see there's my check. 
it's pretty neat how that works actually even though it's not actually an official part of QuickBooks it works really well that's how the loan manager works now that you know how to set up loans and how to make payments and things like that let's go ahead and talk a little bit in module 9 about how to work with credit cards hey everyone Simon here thanks for watching if you're not a subscriber click down below to subscribe to our channel so you get notified of new videos that we upload click over there to get a free two-hour course to learn the essentials of QuickBooks 2018 and click over there to get the complete list of videos in this playlist I'll see you next week with additional videos